Still to come, the report on Dubstep Man, Earthworm Joe, gig listings and tracks from Divide and Jesse's Ghost as well. But right now, I've got a legend in the studio. He's a total oh, legend. Oh. You are. Oh, mate, that set me up for failure, <laughs> isn't it? No, you're, you're a Thetford man and yeah. you love Thetford as well. I do, with all my heart and soul. Oh. This is the greatest town. Like I said on BBC Radio 1, the greatest town on this earth. You did as well. I and did. That's, we've got a great love for you, Franco. Oh, thanks. Oh, Obviously, the, the love is replicated back tenfold. Oh, thanks. The team here is pucker. That's all I can say. The BBC introducing team is pucker. What a love fest this is. <laughs> um, what a love in, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about this video of yours because yep. we were lucky enough to get an exclusive show of it. Uh -huh. uh, I won't brag too much about that. But it's up on <laughs> line now for everyone to see I thought I would kick off asking you about it by something a little bit visual uh huh um, oh, here we go. Uh, is this for the benefit of the camera, is it? It's for the cameras. So if you want to go to YouTube during the week and see what this is, it's um, oh, a present. Nice. Thanks. It's a pint of milk and for those of you at home. And it's green top as well. It's green top it's milk, your favourite. Yeah, mate. Um, a cup oh, of tea each for me and you. Oh, my days. Look at that. No in, sugar, though. In Jubilee mugs, I'll have a sugar. They've actually brought out a cup of tea here with some green top country life. And I swear this milk is the exact milk from the video. It <laughs> is as well. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> He's a beautiful, isn't you? You're beautiful people. Look at that. And other Cheers. brands are available, by the way. I should yeah, probably add Sorry, to Country I, Life. I'm, yeah, BBC <laughs> thing. So I'm just going to pour my sugar in my uh, tea while we talk. I Can I just state as yeah. well, while we're talking about for the benefit of the camera here, yeah. I've actually had to nip off to a shop today. Yeah. And I won't say what shop because obviously it's BBC again. Yeah. <laughs> but to buy this T-shirt to wear for the benefit of the camera because you lot decided to spring the camera on me again in my work garments. And it would have been exact re replica of the, of the same video we had last time. The thing so. I like about it is that if people had gone online to YouTube, they would have seen two Franco exactly, videos. Exactly, with the same <laughs> clothes on. That would have been, not been a good look. No, I like I like. You know what, I'd have anyway. probably thought it was the same video and then you'd not clicked the one or the no, other. You know? It could have been so, a disaster. Exactly. Back to the cups of tea and the I'll take the semi skimmed dome with me after, yeah. You can, but you can Excuse put a bit me. of my tea first if you oh, wouldn't mind. Yeah. Um, thank you. Um, well, the, the reason I'm not just sort of not, not settling I'd down for a night in here, by the way, by the way um, just to, to let you know. Um, Franco's video actually features very prominently uh, a pint of milk it's mm -hmm. a, an amazing video I'll paint a picture for you but you really should go online and watch it He, it's, it's a journey isn't it really Franco it is yeah it's, it involves your 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 sort of your home and mm -hmm. you go out in Thetford to go and get this pint of milk and come yeah. back um, and the premise of that if you don't mind me saying sounds dull doesn't it if someone, <laughs> no it does yeah, it's like suppose, if someone yeah. said that to you but you make it so interesting oh, I can't keep you. my eyes off it such Thanks. a good video really Thanks. really good obviously a massive 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 shout goes out to Tom Cronin for that yeah. Tom Cronin is the man who done the video if you google him you'll get his website and all that he is an absolute legend of a fella you know he's a decent fella and he's mm. we sat there and put the, put the vision together and that and he's done me so proud and, and one of the good things about all the buzz of the video today a fair few people have commented on, on the on the whole vision of the video so it's yeah. nice that Tom gets a nod for that Definitely. you know what I mean rather than sometimes the artist gets all the praise and everybody sort of forgets about everyone else so it's nice to see a uh, Tom getting a little nod so that's to you Tom oh, cheers to that to yeah, our Jubilee cheers, mugs um, I've got a few quick questions about the video then uh -huh. um, it shows your flat it is your flat or house. your, your house, house sorry your yeah. house um, the cat with the bit of his the ear missing <laughs> is that your cat no but the, what it is yeah it's a funny story because that cat is always in my street which right. I went on to learn afterwards I didn't realise at the time but the cat's always about the street but he was on, the, on another estate opposite where my house is yeah. and we see this cat and Tom just filmed the cat and got a nice little shot of it obviously with the one ear and we liked the character of the whole thing and it was only afterwards that a couple of people said oh that cat I always see that cat about apparently it's quite old as well so. really a bit of a legend I've, cat yeah I think it's a bit of one of the Fetford faces you know hmm. um, the push chair near the garages in one oh, scene yeah. is that your push chair no that ain't my push chair no, that, we stumbled sure. across that when we us, we'd done a little bit of scouting location wise and we see the uh the garages was one of the things and we see the the push chair there and obviously Tom's gone off and used his little vision again you know he's done all these nice little shots the cat it's so all Tom you know it's it all is. Tom he's a good old boy final little question about it then you pick up an EDP I do indeed do you yeah. read the EDP is it nah, you, you know get? what yeah I went in there to get the fit from the, well the plan was originally to get the Sun newspaper but obviously there's mo many other newspapers out there I must state that <laughs> <laughs> I've had to say that loads on this station but yeah we went to get the sun and then we was like now nah, we'll get the Fetford and Watton but that neither was there at the time yeah. because that shot was actually filmed at about 
something like three in the morning or mm. something. Something stupid. We got up at stupid o'clock to do it, which obviously it worked out nice. Yeah. You can tell from my face when I'm walking down the A11, it is an early morning one. Mm. Oh, I'm going to yeah. look out for that next time now. Yeah, have a look. Um, you think, cool. But then it adds to the whole thing, you know, yeah. the, the cup of tea walking. It's been the night time. It's a hard graft. It, it all works out, you know. Yeah. So it all suits. It all suits. Good. Um, Oh, let's move on to the single then uh-huh. it's quite a different sound for you I think anyway yeah yeah a couple of people have said that obviously um, I think the main reason for that is because it's the first beat that I've produced myself it's the mm. first tune like it's all all me from the production the, the vocals and everything I, I basically set up a studio in my ass and um, started making beats and it, it, I felt like it was the missing piece of the puzzle almost you know it's like encapsulated everything I was trying to do and get across it's like when you're doing it all yourself then it's fully you you know and mm. I feel like that was the missing piece of I've, since then I've gone on and produced a fair few tunes probably got I don't know a handful maybe say 10 tunes and um, they've all got a nice vibe to them you know it's almost like when you hear when you hear an artist for the first time and you've got that vibe to the whole album I feel like we've got that at the minute yeah. and it's nice it's nice it's refreshing sometimes you get worried and think oh I hope I don't lose that buzz but I've been yeah. in the studio the last couple of days and it's come out the same so yeah so hopefully we're on to a little winner but I mean none of it's intentional it's all just me going in there with my influences off my own back making the music and, and, and that's it's what's what coming out. out and I think people like it's nice to see that people sort of they recognise a lot of people saying like the video is real authentic and I think it's nice that mm. you know the authenticity comes from it just being 100% me not trying to do mm. anything that just going in you know is exactly what we love about it here as well it's what everybody said in the office when we watched it <laughs> very Franco lovely um, uh, last couple of very quick questions uh-huh. then um, you had a lot of meetings in London last time you were here that you had yeah. to attend what's the management slash label situation right now um, well obviously you don't go in here shouting them things off <laughs> you, know I mean? you keep your cards close so to your cagey. chest you never play poker and all that <laughs> nah but obviously off the radio one thing it I come in here and I said the plan would be if somebody got in touch with me to mm-hmm. help me take that next step yeah. and, and I, honestly that's exactly what's happened you know the couple of people decent proper decent fellas have got in touch and uh, we've sat down with them had a few meetings and that they've heard the new music then another beauty of it all is the music I was making mm. all myself came before these people got in touch it almost came just before the Radio 1 thing so yeah. it, was, it was like a natural progression to this sound and then these people got in touch I played them it like the first people that heard it and they really rated it and it's it seems like it's all built naturally you know it's like naturally got to this point now and we're moving forward with it and obviously the boys in London are helping out in a big way and yes let's just keep our fingers crossed that it might lead to something nice you I've know? got mine crossed for you Franco you I'm going to hand you back your milk so you don't forget it oh yeah of course I think we should cheers and play the track yeah cheers what do you think clinkity clink I hope you heard that cheers <laughs> <laughs>